I have a bit of a feeling that Aachen is becoming Europe's Silicon Valley. We have the skills and ability to really save the world. The nice thing about working at Aachen University is that we can be visionaries. We have to be. At Aachen Technical University, or RWTH, scientists are working flat out on a new kind of environmentally friendly mobility. Leading the charge is Günther Schuh, a man with big ideas. I would like to save the world. My whole team would like to save the world. We're already doing it by talking about climate change in the environment. Not by bans. We'll save the world through innovation. Gunther Schuh began his journey in 2010. He started with street scooters, then kitted out the German postal service with electric delivery trucks. But the automobile industry took little notice of him. His next dream was an electric car that everyone can afford. But the big car makers still weren't interested. So in 2017, Shu founded the company Ego and built his own factory. Overnight, the scientist became a car maker. Engineers don't have the privilege of conducting research only with the aim of gaining new insights. Unlike other disciplines, we are obliged to carry out research according to its relevance. We take that very seriously here at Aachen University. So whatever we dedicate our resources to researching, it has to be of use to society. And you also have to be strong enough to fight for things you think will be good for society, even if the establishment doesn't want them. Günther Schuh and Ego revolutionized the German automobile market. Now, finally, the big car makers have taken notice and responded by bringing out their own budget vehicles. Established companies can't be as innovative as they would actually like to be, and they can't take as many risks. They can't design a completely different chassis or use a new space frame concept with unpainted plastic paneling. But they actually need pocket rockets like this, which are really agile and push the boundaries. So I see myself as a trailblazer for the established companies. The trailblazer's success is inspiring his colleagues at Aachen University to realize their own ambitions. For them, he's a pioneer that opens doors for others to go through. People would always say, you researchers are academics, you all sit in ivory towers. He broke this stereotype. He showed that universities can also bring new products to market, successfully bring new products to market, and we profit from that, of course. It's showing the way for all of the issues surrounding mobility. We are very happy that he is here in Aachen and that he is helping, even if just subconsciously, to take us all to another level. In my opinion, without Gunter Schuh and Ego, we would not have secured the funding for this project. Tobias Meinert heads an innovative project with its roots in outer space. In order to connect the cabin of an electric bus to an overhead cable, a highly complex clamping device was developed from satellite technology bypassing traffic jams from above. That's the vision. Under the direction of Professor Kai-Uwe Schröder, they have come up with a new concept that has really taken off. I am now of the opinion that we have found the key to what mobility might look like in the future. Because we have solved so many problems. By lifting transport up above the ground, we have freed up the space below and can return it again to the people. Tobias Meinert can call on the help and expertise of the neighboring faculty, Aachen University's Institute for Flight System Dynamics. This is our new flyer. We call it the Big Bird. It's very big and, from an aerodynamic point of view, very exciting. It opens up possibilities that we never dreamed of. Just go upstairs and you can find whatever kind of expert you need. The sky is the limit. Dieter Moormann and his team are looking into the future of drones. From delivering parcels and medicine to remote regions of the world, to gathering and delivering important data on injured people. Every day they are discovering new uses for their unmanned drones.
Unser Antrieb ist What motivated us is trying to find the right solutions for the future. Their visions. The nice thing about working at Aachen University is that we can be visionaries. We have to be. It's part of our job. To build a vision, you need a dream team. That's why Tobias Meinert also calls on Günther Schuh's company, Ego. It's hoped the people mover will be at the center of Meinert's cable bus project. The small electric bus is the latest innovation from Günther Schuh, manufactured right here in Aachen. Sharing expertise and pooling resources is proving a recipe for success. When you're researching, it is important to know how much time you need to clarify whether this technology for this application, for these costs, in this combination works. Here we can do it like this. I have a bit of a feeling, without being arrogant, that Aachen is becoming Europe's Silicon Valley. And obviously, we want to help contribute to Aachen showing the way forward. Our role models are Steve Jobs and Elon Musk. Today, we are proud to say that apart from Tesla, we are the only ones in the Western Hemisphere, out of all those startups who have actually produced a roadworthy car. When the Aachen Technical University crews work on new mobility ideas, they often examine how autonomous driving technology can be integrated. For that reason, Tobias Meinert is meeting with his colleagues from the Institute for Automotive Engineering at Aachen University. They're at the forefront of research into autonomous driving. The researchers are testing the concept in one of the most modern simulators in the world. Here, they're looking into how the movements of a driverless bus impact the senses of its passengers. This prototype, called Speedy, has already passed through the simulation process. Kitted out with the latest technology, it aims to provide a driving experience fit for the future. Is this a party mobile? Or a knutschkugel? It's about improving mobility, not restricting it, and making it environmentally friendly. My job is not only to make that happen, but to try it out, and to test it with my young team so that they are excited about this journey, and then want to pursue it their whole lives. Do you know how many people I have helped pass through here? Over 350 students have completed their doctorate with me, who now carry this DNA around with them. They say we have the skills and ability to really save the world. It won't be saved by banning things, but through innovation. Aachen Technical University, pushing the boundaries of both minds and machines.